Hi, I'm Ali Mazahari. I am a senior lecturer at the School of Psychology, University of Birmingham. Now, I'm, I'm interested in what in our brain makes us either vulnerable or resilient to developing uh, specific mental health disorders. Now, something that has caught my attention, actually a statistic that caught my attention a few years ago was that uh, if an individual spent the first 15 years of their life in a city, they were about four times more uh, likely to develop schizophrenia than if an individual uh, grew up in a rural area. This suggests that growing up in an urban environment makes you vulnerable to developing schizophrenia. Doesn't mean necessarily you're going to get schizophrenia because you lived in an urban environment. It just means that statistically you're more likely. Um, another thing that uh, um, that has caught my attention that this came out uh, quite recently was that they looked at over 900,000 individuals. Uh, they looked at uh, the act, the amount the uh, amount of green space um, around them while they were growing up and found that individuals that grew up near green space um, as adults were less likely to develop mental health disorders, and this was a variety of mental health disorders, than uh, individuals that grew up um, with a green space and not being around. So um, this suggests that there is something about um, growing up near nature um, that is uh, making someone um, resilient to mental health disorders. Um, on the other hand, uh, lack of green space, lack of nature around, makes an individual more vulnerable. Now, um, other studies that have come out, um, uh, there they, they've used uh, nature as an intervention. Uh, one study, for example, found that cancer survivors who took regular uh, forest walks uh, did better in terms of their quality of life and uh, than cancer survivors that were still active, but they didn't um, get themselves exposed to nature. Um, this suggests that um, such an intervention uh, uh, can actually have beneficial effects. So it's not just about growing up uh, uh, in, in the forest environment or in a, in a green in, around, around green space, but just being exposed to green space uh, has some sort of benefits. So something that's going on in the lab, in my laboratory at the moment, is um, trying to figure out exactly what happens when uh, an individual is exposed to, to a green environment. What changes in their brain? What 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 happens? What also what, what uh, I'm interested in is individuals that have grown up in an urban environment. How are their brains different than individuals that have grown up in a rural environment? Um, answering these kinds of questions will, will allow us to actually figure out how, how nature is exerting its behavioral benefits. Uh, this sort of, I think these sorts of questions are quite relevant, particularly at this particular time, um, given that I think what's happening with the current pandemic, um, that you have individuals uh, that are either really treating green space as a commodity and getting as much nature as, as they can versus individuals that have taken this as an opportunity to just not go out and, and stay indoors to protect themselves. Um, it would be interesting, but, but also at the same time, I think worrying um, how um, these individuals are, are going to, uh, to do in the long run.